What's good, fam? We back at it with another DD Conway's Nostalgic Lounge videos, man. I thought I would subscribe to this channel. Um, but yeah, man, we're gonna be reacting to another one of his joints. I I, I really do like your videos, bro. You 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 a trip, man. <laughs> But yeah, um, you it's a lot of stuff. You, I, it's a lot of shit that you be on though. I ain't gonna hold you. Like I be like, yeah, I agree with a lot of that stuff. So we are gonna be reacting to him. Top five hood movies people love, but I don't. Hmm. Let's see what's going on, man. These are all my opinions. The opinions of no others. If you don't like it, just skip to the next video. Don't bitch about it. Are near and dear films in the black community that may or may not have made it to theaters. They could have been a box office hit. Look, won't you go to the street and get something to eat? I know you're hungry. Uh-uh, because see, I ate twice before I came. God damn! <laughs> or that shit could have went straight to DVD. Little homie on stuff. I didn't leave a little homie nothing, nigga. You were supposed to pick me up That's anyway. You lower your motherfucking voice. You were supposed to pick me up anyway. However, in my Three Strikes is my movie. I ain't gonna hold you. I mean, some of the hood classics that many people love, they actually really trash as fuck. Here are five hood classics that most people love, but I didn't. Number five, Poetic <laughs> Justice. In my opinion, Poetic Justice was boring as hell. I never understood the infatuation that people had with this movie. Uh, hey, yeah. nice. Hold on, one second. Candace, what's up? I think my daughter's going pro at basketball. <laughs> I ain't gonna get butt hurt nothing. I'm just gonna be entertained by it. <laughs> Boy, you came out swinging. You came out like Trey when he was pissed, man. <laughs> I fuck with Poetic Justice, though. This was, this, was, this was a pretty cool movie. I ain't gonna get it. You wanna see my mom put on me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, Janet was the infatuation. Had to be. Because yeah, she was bad. It's fine. You know, the dark brother. Oh, yeah, Tyler Pharrell. Tyler Pharrell was fine as hell, too. Trust me, believe that. Boy, that scene when she got out the car and all them yams was in the picture. Woo! He said he wants to see my punani. Bro, how do you let her lean in to do that shit? I never understand it, bro. That's. Yeah. I know that shit was hot. Honestly, <laughs> it just seemed like they was riding around in the mail truck, bitching at each other the whole time. That's all it was. That weak ass fade. <laughs> Niggas' dick can't stay hard five minutes. Hey, bro, that could be fine. That could be true. But, uh, <laughs> you still let him hit. Like, he still cracked that ass. <laughs> At number four, love and basketball. My biggest problem with love and basketball is just the simple fact that these two niggas could not hoop at all, bro. And it's clear. Oh, boy, baby. I got some of this. There you go, baby. I ain't never see that some part of the movie. Hey, there's nothing about them playing this role that makes me feel like they should be a USC hooping. Both dookie. I'll play you. What? I'ma keep it a buck. He was a dickhead in this movie, man. Quincy was a dickhead in this movie, bro. Like he that was a narcissistic ass nigga, man. It's like, yo, we understand you and your parents getting divorced, but you gotta take it out on everybody, bro. Just cause she couldn't be with you, chilling with you. Just that one or two nights, you went and got with another chick, Monica Calhoun, that is. She's fine as well. I do. It's an Lathan. I've had a crush on this woman since. Since. But, yeah, man. He was a dickhead in this movie. But, at the end of the day, I fuck with loving basketball. One game, one on one. For what? <laughs> Your heart. <laughs> He loved her from the jump. He tried to act like he didn't, but yeah, that was some goofy shit. What does this happen if y'all both trash? Then my boy went on a 50-piece quadruple 
double demolish her ass. Definitely. <laughs> Still ended up giving her a second chance. <laughs> I was feeling like how, they, uh, how naked this nigga's face was. <laughs> <laughs> It is, man, look crazy as hell. Again, I want to stress to you, this is my opinion. And this is. Hey, bro, I ain't even mad at you, bro. Like you said, this is your opinion. I'm just entertained by this shit. It's hilarious. I feel <laughs> watching some of these movies. One thing that seriously didn't make sense to me was how Q was essentially getting mad at his pops for cheating on his mama. You can hear me say it. I'll say it. It's not true. But my boy, you been dog walking Monica ass the whole movie. Right, I just said that. I just said that, yo. I'm not asking for us to be together. You go. Three, New Jack City. In my opinion, the best thing about this movie was Wesley Snipes acting his ass off. We know. We understand that part. But when Ice T was talking about, man, I want to kill you so bad, my dick's hard. Pause. Pause the whole scene. Pause the whole movie. What is wrong with you, sir? No, get away from me. Sit your five dollar ass down before I make change. You know. <laughs> Cancel that bitch. I'll buy it. And Chris Rock being one of the greatest crackheads we've ever seen of in all movie. time. This be calling me, man. Be calling me, man. I just gotta go to it. Literally, the only thing that stuck out to me was Wesley, and specifically this scene. Huh? Oh, that's a classic. Don't nobody know nothing? Come on now, 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 everybody don't speak at once. I think what makes this scene even more memorable is the fact <laughs> that Martin Lawrence did this shit. <laughs> I know! Sit down! Go play again! Go sit your final ass down before I make change! <laughs> <laughs> City for me was one of those hood movies that I just couldn't watch all the way through. Like as I got older, I started to watch it a little more. I watched it in spurts. So I, was... I ain't gonna lie, it got it was it, people was playing it too much. BET was getting on my fucking nerves how much they played this movie. It was this fucking baby boy. Uh uh uh, what was it? Medea's family reunion. Like they played this these movies so much, it made you hate it for a while. Like, seriously. I won't say it's entirely a bad movie, but yeah, this thing right here just pissed me off. Oh, it's required in here! How? How, like, how did he get the, how did Brett get the gun in, bro? Y'all in the courthouse. Be real. Hey, if you're from Memphis, any of my fellow <laughs> Memphians. You probably feel me on this. And number two, hustle and flow. I don't know if we consider this a classic, but this shit made the list because it's the worst representation of the great city of Memphis. Memphis, 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 Memphis. Memphis, Memphis. Nothing but Memphis. Everywhere we go, it's Memphis. Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. I believe, honestly, it was made to push a lot of 3 Six Mafia songs and stuff like that. Cause even DJ Paul showed up in the movie, um, but I mean they got they uh, they Grammy for it, so it worked. But hey, I, I again I'm not knocking you for your opinion, bro. Cause I know a lot of people that ain't like hustle and flow, but yeah. The beautiful land in the world. <clears throat> See, man ain't like it though. And when I say man, I'm talking about man is in mankind, not man is in man. Man, that ass in trash as fuck. <laughs> Acting, boo boo. His perm, Dookie. He, he used to make me mad watching this movie, and everybody just looked hot and musty the whole movie. Like, bro, it's hot. It get hot in Memphis, don't get me wrong, but come on, bro. We, we yeah, be yeah, he lying. That man just looked <laughs> musty the whole movie. Love Ludacris. Honestly, one of my favorite rappers ever, but not in this movie. Hey, bitch. You tell me this shit fell out your pocket, man. Hey, 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 man. Hey, what, man? You, you know what That man honestly made me up the trash count on this job. <laughs> the main performance <laughs> was bad, bro. Hustle the Flow, one of the worst movies of all time. Bar none. 
I'm gonna keep it a buck. That 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 scene when he was doing that, whoop that trick, that shit got hype. I ain't gonna hold you. With every other movie on this list, besides the one I'm about to introduce, you could say that they were arguably still good. However, for this number one spot, I don't feel like that at all. I feel like this is one of the worst hood movies of all time. I don't care what y'all say. At number one, I got the hookup. Oh, I got man. water from the last time I went to have. <laughs> <laughs> I, get, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna say this to you, bro. I know you said it's your opinion. But yo, the second one, I understand. This one was just funny as hell. I ain't even going front. But, uh... <laughs> Take this series as a hood movie anyway. It was just like a comedy, dog. It was just funny to me. I ain't gonna front. This movie was funny. That second one was ass, though. But yeah, I thought you was gonna come out and say a different one, though. Like, so, like something different. But yeah, I mean, it's... Oh, shit, I was doing you a Well, fuck you. I think, I got the hookup. <laughs> Damn, it's pure trash, and I think Master P... She probably give everybody their money back. They have something to do with this. <laughs> I personally didn't think there was anything good about this movie, except the fact that it may have started some young actors' careers. However, other than that, I got the hookup storyline was trash, quality trash, acting trash, and I personally feel this was Master P way of giving minimal tier quality and getting it. And if you call it out, he did that in most of his movies. <laughs> He'll get mad. From jailhouse Not too long ago, he made I Got the Hook Up too. This anyway, shit was ass. That was ass. Hell, you gonna watch that movie and tell me he gave you the best quality he could possibly Absolutely give. Absolutely not. If you stayed this long, that was the list. In the comments below, tell me what hood movie most people love, but you dislike. And tell me why. Also, if you're still here, like and subscribe. Thank you for helping me change my life, and we on the road to a thousand. I appreciate each and every one of you, and y'all have a good day. But, uh, hold on. Let me get this. These are all my opinions. But, um, <clears throat> but, uh, you did have some ones on here. I ain't gonna hold you. Poetic Justice was more like, it, it was definitely a fucking hood movie. I ain't gonna hold you. But it was like a toxic fucking hood movie. But, um, like I said, he's entitled to his opinion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, loving basketball, like Omar Epps, like was a he. He's a dope actor, but he was a dickhead in that movie. Uh, what was the other one? <laughs> this shit was funny though. <laughs> New Jack City. If BT didn't play it so much, I could enjoy it the most. They played this so much back then, I didn't even want to watch that movie no more. I'm dead ass serious. But, um, but no, nah, but we already been through that. But I'm going to keep, I'm going to also keep it a buck. I watch Menace to Society a lot when I was younger. It's hard for me to watch it now. It is. Like, even when I probably, like, build up the carriage to do it, I can't really watch it like I used to. I'd be like, yo, this shit is wild. It's wild as hell. Um, it's another one that I can't really think of. But, yeah, I'm going to say, uh, Menace to Society wasn't a bad movie. It's just, I really don't care to watch it no more. I don't. He, he, I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I watch Boys in the Hood so much that I don't even really want to watch it for a while. I haven't seen Boys in the Hood almost 10 years now. I don't really 
look forward to watching the shit <laughs> because that got that I, I played we my cousins and them watched it so many times like it, I got I got tired of watching it, man. Like, I can watch old but so much hood shit till I get sick to my stomach after a while. Then I gotta watch something different. That's when I started looking at more Marvel shit. <laughs> like, I started looking at, like, X-Men and all that. And just totally different movies. Um, well, what really got me was those assassin movies, like... Um, back in the day, like, what's that joint, The Professional? Uh, John Wick wasn't out back then, but I got more into those kind of joints, like The Born Supremacy. I like those kind of government assassin type movies. Even when John Wick came out, it was something different. Like, a lot of killing, but it was different. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. Um, other than that, <laughs> shout out to DD Nostalgic. Uh, DD Conway. I'm sorry, brother. But yeah, man, this was hilarious, though, man. <laughs> yeah, man, if y'all like this uh, video, man, smash the like button for your boy. Comment down below what y'all thought. Share the video and also subscribe to the channel. And if you have not yet, go and subscribe to DD Conway Nostalgic Lounge. Go and smash the like button on all his videos and get him up past more than a thousand. I got to check to see his subscriber account now to make sure. Hold on. Let me make sure he's past that. Oh, yeah. He's he's well over 1,000. Get him to 10,000, 100,000. Get him up further up. Further up. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, man. We out this peace. Peace, love, blessings. I'll see y'all in the next video. We out.